All right, so now that we have our dialogue working, so we can go ahead and click on that button. And there we go. It looks really nice. How about giving a little bit of space here? Because I feel like it's all squished in together. Let's go to our with dialog XML and do some work just a little bit. Okay. Let's give it a padding, a general padding of about 15 dp. Let's see preview how that looks. Looks really good. Maybe 25. I'll see. There we go. That looks good. How about this one inside? How about giving it a padding of about 14 dp itself there we go save it give it a quick run just to see how things will look all right i like that much better so we have things looking decently here not too bad perfect okay let's go back to our code that's where we'd rather be anyway <laughs> all right so let's work on a few things here. So for let's work on a seek bar. So the idea again is to get these values. So as we change our seek bar to values, we're going to retrieve whatever they stopped. Let's say they stopped at 15 here. We're going to get that and set the width of our pencil of our or of our brush. Okay, so that's the whole idea here. But in process, what we're going to do, we're going to change this image to we're going to create a line which will have the same width that we are setting here. That way the users can actually see the width that they are setting their brush or their paint to. Okay, so it's a very nice user interface component that will give the users some sort of like uh, visual aid as to of what is happening of what they are setting. So it's pretty clever. With seek bar dot set on seek bar change listener, okay, and instead of create the anonymous uh, class here, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just pass in an actual variable so that we can create that on on change listener class at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this with seek bar changed as such, and I'm gonna go ahead and create this class at the bottom there. Let's get rid of this. I'm actually going to put it somewhere down here. I'm going to make it as a method. So I'm going to say private. On seek bar. I'm going to set this to equal to new on seek bar. Change listener as such. The moment we do that, we have a few override methods that we can use. So we are interested in this progress on progress change because that will get the value as we change this progress as we slide left and right. We are going to be able to fetch the values that we are that we are getting. But the other thing we need to do here, like I said earlier, is we are going to actually write override this image here and put here an actual line. So we're going to draw a line that will depict exactly the size of the brush or the size of our paint that we are setting the width to. Okay. So how do we do this? I'm going to first create a bitmap. Call this just a bitmap is equal to bitmap that create bitmap. Of course, for bitmap, we need the width and height. Let's just put a 400 for width and height, about 100. And then configuration, I'm going to say bitmap ARG8888. 88, 88. Okay, we've seen that before. And once we have our bitmap, let's create a canvas object called canvas or a new canvas. And we're going to pass our bitmap. That way, we're ready to start writing or to start that way we are ready to that way we're ready to use our canvas to start drawing things actually this let's move this to the top here as instance variables so now on progress here what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and start doing things so this int here let's change to progress and this boolean here, we're going to say from user. So we know that the value that we're getting are from the user. That's a boolean. And progress is going to be the numbers that we are getting as we slide left and right. Okay? So we're going to fetch those numbers. 
Okay, so what we are going to do, we are first of all going to get the image, because remember here, inside of our dialog, we created this image view here, which we called, we added the value image view ID. So we're going to fetch that because we're going to, we're going to override it. So I'm going to say image view, just call width image view is equal to find view r dot id dot image view that's what we called and now we're going to configure a paint object for the current seek bar so i'm going to say paint p is equal to new paint such and i'm going to say p i'm going to set color i'm going to go ahead and say picasso because we know that get drawing color we don't have a drawing color do we let's go in let's get drawing color let's go ahead and create this let's go to picasso and create create we have this set drawing color oh get drawing color let's try get we need to get get not set right get drawing color why don't we have that Maybe we made it, ah, right, not the class variable, but we want the instantiation. There we go. Ha. There we go. So Picasso, get drawing color. There we go. And then we're going to say p.setStroke cap. I'm going to just make it round again. Such. And p.setStroke width. I'm going to pass the progress. Okay, what's happening here? So we, like I said, what are we going to do? We're going to actually set, uh, we are setting things up so that we can paint here. Instead of this image, we're going to actually have the width that we are setting so the users as they create, as they go back and forth to set up the width of the brush, right, the width of the paint object, we want this to also start showing so that users can actually see, say, okay, so if I'm up to here, the brush that I'm going to use is going to be this wide and so forth. It's a good visual aid for our users. Okay, that's all we're doing here. So what we do next, we're going to go ahead and erase our bitmap before we draw to it. So erase, I'm going to pass the erase color here, it's going to be color. white and then I'm going to say canvas that draw line right because we just want to draw again a line instead of this image here just like I explained earlier and how we're going to draw a line there's a few things I need to pass first thing I'm going to pass 30 for the starting point because okay and then I'm going to put 50 for the starting y point and for where it's going to stop, the x value is going to be 370. These are numbers just I'm playing. These are numbers that I'm just playing with. For stopping y, it's just going to be 50. And for paint, we're going to pass the p. Okay. And then we're going to get the withdraw image. I'm going to that set image bitmap. Look at this. I'm going to pass the bitmap that we just created. Okay, put a semicolon there at the end. Okay, so if we save this and give it a run, if all goes well, we should be able to see something really cool. So we can click here, check this out. Ah, we have a problem. What might the problem be? Looks like we have a null pointer exception, which means the set image on a null object reference. So we have to create the actual reference, which we haven't. Let's see. Right, let's change. Let's go up to top here. I'm going to say image view. Let's do this instantiation actually at the top. Where is it? This one here. Let's get rid of it there such a 
let's say is equal to view. Okay, that fine like this. And to make it so that we're able to use that somewhere else, let's make this. Uh, let's actually make this. Let's copy this and make it an instance variable here. This will just help us with our code. Image view. All right. Okay. I think this should work. Get rid of this. Okay. Well, I think this should work. Let's run this. Let's see. Ah, look at that. Very nice. Look at that, folks. So you can actually see the size that we're going to be using for our paintbrush. Okay. If we click set, we should be able to set. Of course, it's saying hello now because we haven't actually add, added any logic there. But you can see the beauty here is that we're able to get this to work. Look at that. Ah, very, very nice. I love that. Okay, few pieces, so with few lines of code and a little bit of our imagination here, we're able to give the users a better representation of what they are choosing or what they are selecting. Okay, this is much better as opposed to putting numbers here, right? If we say stroke is going to be stroke width, it's 5 or 10, it doesn't really make a lot of sense because the user doesn't know what a 5 or 10 would represent. So now this is way better. Oh, look at that. Ah, I love it. Perfect. I hope you are enjoying this and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to continue working on our project here. Okay, I'll see you next.